Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stalker, uh, one of the command staff from Pro Nations, who, you know, lives the dream every day of doing this. So, let's walk through the next lot of updates we're doing on the server in regards to map edits. Uh, in front of you, you're going to see a series of camps, uh, factories, HQs, and radars. There are AA compositions coming and artillery runs, but these are just the ones I've got ready at the moment. So, this is a camp. This one was set up by Specialist Fat Trip of the MPs. As you can see, you've got the nice little temple ruins around the outside. Got a little gate, which you can uh, both open and climb over. And uh, there's the uh, static machine gun, which will make you wish you didn't. You've got towers on in the corners, which will be manned by AI on statics. And you can see here there is one, two, three PAVN ammo crates. Each of the camps will have the three crates. They will all need to be destroyed to help clear the objective. See, there are three type 6 shelters. Each of these shelters needs to be destroyed to clear the objective. You can do this by currently using one satchel or having four breaching charges on you and aiming at it and using a scroll wheel add action to destroy camps. Uh, these objects don't have a natural damage state so you do need to use the custom script. Uh, we are going to be looking at adding a user add action which is not currently on the server. So if you have a lighter, you will um, be able to aim at it, get the option to burn it. Uh, but that is not currently uh, not currently uh, running at the moment. All right. So, and of course the campfire, because you need a campfire for a camp composition. Otherwise, it's not really a camp. And as you come into the hut outside of the propaganda, uh, you'll see that this camp has a T102E. NVA radio. Now right now that radio doesn't serve any function but it's part of a roadmap for us to add functionality to the RTO role for public and whitelisted spike teams and when that comes out we'll talk more about it then but for now it's just a nice little you know friendly asset. Okay here is the uh, second camp a little bit more propaganda at the front. You see you go around you've got all your shelter walls and guard towers Of course, if you're running enhanced movement, you can always jump over the top of them, uh, depending on uh, what nasty traps we have hidden away behind camera. But for what you can see right now, you have a fun little maze to run through, multiple directions to go and choose from. You've got one, two, and three crates inside the composition. And if you're paying attention, you may have seen the three shelters, which are also in here. And of course, table and radio for future functions. All right, coming into uh, my personal favorite, what I like to call the Camp of Woe. Here we have one of two entrance ways to choose from coming in. Multiple uh, pathways. This place is a literal maze. I'm trying to follow this so the camera is going to make me want to throw up. You've got Again, just an absolute labyrinth throughout here. Static machine guns hidden in corners, raised and lowered. Uh, same thing applies to all the camps. There are three of the crates and there are three of these shelters. All three of both need to be destroyed. You've got sniper tree platforms up above your head, which will be randomly manned. And uh, as you can see around the edges, we've got all these nice little sections for the walls. So. Uh, we'll eventually have these filled with our custom scripts for our, you know, punji traps and, you know, all the fun little don't step on these kind of things. Alright, moving on. Composition number three? Four. Alright, I can't count. Yeah, we've been doing this all day. So, same thing as you just saw before, except on a smaller version. Little maze coming through, get shot in the face. These things are okay during the day. They are absolutely painful at night time, being a friend, and hopefully you've got flares. But you get the idea. More uh, 
fun propaganda in the middle. And yeah, you get the idea. These all have radios and shelters and camps. Just, you know, have a look until you find them. Um, all right, moving on to number five. This work here is a edit of Senior Sergeant Numbnuts from the uh, Bro Nations SASR. So as you come through, you'll see it's one way in. You get your main gates. You come in and you've got some tents and shelters and explosive crates and so on. Uh, my apologies for these things being down right now. I just added a simulation effect, which I shouldn't have, so that'll get fixed before it goes live on the map. Uh, okay, moving on to the next one. Actually, before we go in, you'll see the smoke from the campfires sticks out quite a fair bit. So if you are running uh, all the client-side mods, you will see that smoke from a mile away. If you're just running uh, vanilla, uh, not so much. But if you need to listen to the mods, just check the Discord in the support section. We've got all the uh, supporter mods there. Alright, so same kind of thing. Nice wide camp all the way around. Right now, these uh, gaps are pretty much placeholders for when we do end up getting the uh, traps and mines placed in. But for now, you can pretty much just safely jump over them. Uh, all these gates are interactable. So they do will have simulation added, so you can open them up. Of course, you've got to have your friendly statics down the end. Split into compounds so you can find all your uh, different crates. And then you've got all your shelters and stuff. Now, for the uh, canine amongst you, you may have spotted in some of these compositions a US ammo crate. So we have uh, specifically placed around all the compositions a nice little uh, Easter egg. And if you find it, there are extra supplies of explosives and uh, NVA and captured uh, US ammo and weapons. Alright, so you've got multiple different ways in. Uh, forgive the floating object. When this goes live on the server, we'll be using uh, fixed uh, pause functions, which will effectively uh, keep these little beautiful things out of freefall, and they'll be sheltered down like that. Alright, so usual static machine guns, multiple gates, Again, you'll find constant theme of uh, radios in each of these places. And as I said before, why it's not that functionality doesn't currently exist, it will be uh, be implemented down the track. All right, so you got your crates and stuff. Moving on, this is one of the classic ones we've had for a couple of months now. Default save composition, and you've got your you know radio shelters, so on and so on. All right, so that is eight of the camps we've got now the plan is to over the between now and christmas we'll get this up to a minimum level of 16 with the idea being that each ao will have at least four camps uh, meaning that you should be able to run through four aos in a row uh, over a couple of restarts before you see the same compositions for the same missions uh, occur twice Moving on, let's look at the HQs. So, for those of you who've been on for the last month, you'll notice th this is the one of the current camps, so HQs we've got. Nothing really changed except we got rid of all the different random crates that I used last time because apparently I was on acid. Um, and now it's using the same standard free crates. So if it's got crates for the mission task, it'll be the same standard free crates each time. Uh, of course, your intel document uh, for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you'll see the bucket load more propaganda. Again, don't worry about the floating objects. These will have fixed pods after uh, beautiful Bronation and Savage Game developer Cerebral goes through and uh, fixes up all of my cluster uh, mistakes. Self-sensor. <laughs> Hard for an Australian. Bear with me. All right. So you can see you got your free crates. You've got your intel document. Uh, the crates will need to be destroyed. And the intel document will need to be grabbed before this objective itself is considered clear. Grabbing the intel document will then reveal all of the camps and tunnels and water objectives on the map. Otherwise, they will be hidden. Um, AA gun in this particular one, although not every HQ will necessarily have that. Okay, moving on to the second HQ. Which again, for those of you who have been here for last month or two, we're familiar with. 
Again, the edit for the currently existing ones is just fixes to the ammo crates, so it's just the same three, not like five or six different ones with weird damage states. Um, that's pretty much it, outside of, you know, the usual upgrades for the propaganda, so it makes it look a little bit not more homely. Alright, moving on from that one. Do, do, do. Uh, again, this is one of the pre-existing ones. This one was done by S, uh, Specialist Regan, who is part of our curation development team from uh, Bro Nations SASR. And this is just a quick update for some of the propaganda and a replacement of the crates. Everything else is pretty much stock standard as to how we had it before. With the exception of, again, this stuff won't be floating. Um, this gate out the back will be interactable. Currently on the server it's not. Uh, but we'll make that simulated so you can. Alright. Moving on, you would notice, uh, for those of you who are fresh, that each of these uh, HQ compositions has two red flags out the front. So the way to identify if what you're looking at is a camp or a HQ is if it has two big red flags, that's a HQ. And if it doesn't, that's probably a camp. Alright, moving on to the uh, newest. This, once again, is an entry from uh, SPC Regan, uh, edited by myself, a few little changes, but most of this work is his. Uh, you go around the outside, you'll see it's a like a ruined little settlement. You've got punji sticks and you know spider holes and all the fun stuff. Guard towers on the outside. Uh, these gates are actionable. You can walk up and interact with them. Uh, down the side, you've got uh, prisoner cages. So part of the roadmap we want to implement uh, will be be able to capture high value targets and rescue POWs. It's not currently a feature. I don't have a timeline to when we're going to start working on that, but the basic premise is there. Um, and the same kind of thing. You've got your crates. And you've got your... Um, you know, floating objects that won't be floating uh, come the finish. Alright, so that is our HQ sorted. Let's look on the next one. So, factory. So, starting with the golden oddy we've got. Uh, not much of a change to this one, except the fuel tank and the service points will need to be destroyed. So, those will be two tasks you need to complete, as well as grabbing the intel document, which... Of course, it's floating when I'm showing this demonstration, but here we are. Uh, but again, the radio, which will be an interactable down the track, but not currently. Uh, each of these tanks is only accessible by DATCOM. So they will have a spawn point within a certain distance of the factories when they spawn in. One factory per AO, one HQ per AO. So both the factory and the HQ will have a DATCOM spawn point, which you find it. If you can destroy it, it'll look like a platform which is, just to give a quick example, and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, am I too tired to be properly prepared for this demonstration, will look like this. So there'll be a platform like this within uh, 100 meters of a factory or a HQ, and uh, if you see that, you can interact with it like you do with the uh, shelters or water objectives, and so just use your custom ad action and destroy it if you have four preaching charges or a satchel and doing so will delete their uh, respawn point and this is the initial way that kong will get into the ao uh, but as i said uh on this update only the that kong will be able to operate those tanks uh moving on to factory number two uh main changes again is the fuel inside and the service point here need to be destroyed intel documents the same uh, all the intel documents for factories reveal all of the shooty shooty objectives, so it will reveal the radar, the AA guns, the artillery. Uh, all these tanks are DATCOM only, as is the cash aircraft. So no more worrying about random people hopping on the server and then blowing you out of the sky because they don't know what they're doing. Uh, and of course you've got the uh, propaganda, uh, a little quality of life add-ons inside. All right. uh, these walls have been set to no simulation meaning that, uh, and no damage, so you won't be able to knock them down just by looking at them, which has been an issue in the past. 
and the gates are all added to simulation so you will be able to open them and you will be able to knock them down um, so I just love the propaganda just I don't know why just does it for me so, all right this is factory number three uh, so this is what used to be a variation of what we used for a radar and we've changed it so with the update you can see this is a massively propaganda based uh, factory so the factory again, fuel and service points need to be destroyed and the intel needs to be collected, which is just under here. This building is destructible. However, when it collapses, this part here is still reachable by the players. So an example of this, if I'm not too tired and don't mess this up. Uh, As you can see, you still get in and you can still access the uh, Intel document. So, no more requesting staff or admin to get on to uh, deal with a messed up tower or HQ objective. They're all, the Intel documents are placed in places where you can get them, regardless of the state of the building. Alright, uh, outside of the flag, you see there's some nasty little ambush points for the AI with their statics and hidden gun emplacements. Uh, same thing again, these walls are not destructible, the gates are interactable and destructible. Uh, plenty of propaganda updates, all the CAS assets are whitelisted to DATCOM, meaning that uh, you won't be able to fly it if you're not DC, so blow those up. Uh, there are AA guns at the uh, factories as well, as you've noticed, so may not always be the best option to fly directly overhead and try to uh, parachute someone down, but you know, you're more than welcome. And uh, of course, you get all the statics and the uh, embellishments on the top of the uh, high points. All right, so that is the factories. So the factories are literally just there to give DC uh, the option to have access to armored vehicle assets to slow down the progression of the AO um, and to provide you with an Intel document to find out where all the other objectives are. Okay, moving on to those, some of those objectives you can find uh, with the Intel document for the factory. So this is an oldie but a goodie uh, this is a repurpose of the first SAM site or radar installation you'll notice that the uh, SAs are sitting on raised platforms meaning that they will have a better line of sight around them there is deliberate intentional blind spots at uh, nap of the earth flying if you're flying just a meter or two off the ground but for the most part uh, these babies have a beautiful line of sight uh, again ignore any of the floating objects these will have fixed pods when it goes live uh, you'll also notice that these are not hitting in grass so armor by default has this weird damage reduction when it comes to foliage so while you can remove any of this foliage by using axes and machetes in game uh, these things are raised above them so you don't have to worry about damage reduction because of the foliage uh, there are static emplacements and shit spaced throughout um, the foliage and you know spider holes so sweep and clearing this area at your own discretion You'll notice again that the uh, radar installation has a radio, which again is not currently implemented, but will be down the future. All right, this is <laughs> my beautiful, beautiful baby. Uh, this is the anti-air radar from hell. So you've got five SAs installed up here on platforms. You have seven quad AA guns and multiple different static emplacements spaced throughout. Uh, fun times for everybody involved and again raised platforms you can pretty much just ignore them because all this stuff will not be floating uh, when it goes live alright all right, so that is this one but effectively it is not if you see this one spawn in the AO you want to send ground teams just the amount of damage this thing can actually put out is absolutely ridiculous it is not a good time to be a musket or a Satan's Angels in the AO when this thing is active. Uh, Alright, and moving on to the last piece of the resistance is the final radar site. So, all of these walls are non-destructible. Uh, give me a second while I just quickly... Seeing things float just caused me all sorts of mental distress. Alright, and 
can move. Beautiful. All right. So for the most part, uh, walls are not destructible. Gates are actionable, so you can open these and come through. And you can knock the gates down. You physically cannot climb over these walls because they are too high, so enhanced movement will not help you here. Although potentially doing a halo drop over the top might do you some favors. Uh, the SAM sites are raised. So again, when this goes live, this will sit properly. Uh, but I'll just give you an example with this one. There is very little, if any, blind spot to the uh, SAs on this composition. So if you're in the AO, this thing will see you, this thing will shoot you down. So again, when this thing's going live on the next map update, which will probably be in a week or two, um, yeah, if it's a yellow, if it's just gone red and you've got the yellow circle on the AO, uh, ground teams and recon are your friend. Um, flying like an idiot over the top of it, looking for uh, tracer fire, is probably going to get you shot down any passages you have. So, you know, forewarned, forearmed, so to speak. You'll also notice that uh, as you walk around here, You've got one way into the radar. Again, the uh, radio thing there for future updates. And only one way up the top. And then the rest of this is broken into sections. So CQC firing through here when you're dealing with the AI defenders will be a must. Uh, <coughs> plenty of choke points. Uh, plenty of fun for spike teams to go through or the general mic force. You guys are just assaulting a position. Uh, also decent for a... Uh, kind of ready built fob if you take control of it. Uh, what you can't see here, but I will bring up, is that each of these sections here has an AA gun put up. So when this is spawned in, it will have four quad AA guns, two on the west, two on the east, and the four uh, SAs. Again, meaning that even halo dropping on this position may not be the best option. Uh, just ground teams and you know slogging it through is probably the way to go. All right, so that is the demonstration for now. So apologies for the length of the video. Uh, fairly tired after doing all this. Uh, so in short, we have eight camps, which will replace the current four we've got on the map. We have four HQs, three of which are updates of the current ones, just fixing a few bugs and issues we had. And a new one from uh, Regan. There is a new composition camp uh, put forth by MP specialist Fat Trip. Um, who's going to be working on a few more for us and some of this work's been done by uh, Numbuts as well, so it's not a one-man job by any means All right, we should hopefully have this done up for this Friday or the Friday after, you know, cross fingers and uh, There will be AA compositions. There will be mortar compositions, but we'll keep those ones under wrap and you guys can just find them when they go live All right, therein ends the demonstration. Hope you guys had a good time and peace